Your microbit can tell which way is up using an accelerometer, which is a type of sensor. It's located on the back left of the board, a small 2 mm by 2 mm component. Now that component measures shakes and movements in three different axes. We're going to start with two, the x-axis and the y-axis. If you move the board side to side, you'd see measurements in the x, but not so much in the y. And if you move the board up and down, you'd see measurements in just that axis. Now what would happen if we rotate it from side to side? Well, we could look in the spec sheets, but let's do some direct observation. We'll write a small program in MakeCode. Let's head over to the lab. And here's our logging program. It's got two parts. The start section is just going to put out an initial serial message to prompt the port. And, and when we hit the A button, it's going to put a little bit of a title onto it. And then it's going to show an icon to show when we're starting and then, oh, when we're done. So you can kind of see what state the robot's in. Now it's going to repeat 50 times. And there's a pause so that we can control the timing. So we know it's going to take roughly five seconds if the 100 milliseconds works out right. Now let's go ahead and add in our advanced tablet here. This is the serial port. And we're going to do serial write numbers for the values. And the values are going to come from our input. In the input here, we've got not the compass ending light level. We're going to go for acceleration. And the acceleration is by default is x. So we'll duplicate that variable or that signal value, sensor value. And we'll do the x, and this time we'll do the y. Now, this is writing to the serial port, but we don't have any buttons because not much has been written to it. The start when the simulator runs or when your regular program runs, it just says one message. And that doesn't, that doesn't trick the simulator or the make code into actually showing you the part. So I'm going to download the program to our target. And did you get that message? So we're going to write it, click it over here. There's, but there's no graph showing up here. So if I hit the A button, we'll collect five seconds worth of data. And it's going to show it. There it is. And if I slide it side to side, pretty cleanly, we're seeing that would be the X axis. I hit it again. And we got new values. And now I'm going to do it in the Y axis. So we're seeing those two. And you can see my, there's a little bit of crossover because my hand's moving in a little bit in both axes. Now I'm going to do it one more time. This time I'm going to try to rotate it around like a clock face, uh, 360 degrees. Hit that button. Get the data. Rotate it around. Pretty smooth. And now I've collected the data. Now I can turn around and export that data straight to a text file. And I'm going to show that, bring it up to my browser. A little bit of that's off screen. Here it is in the text editor. Now, one of the things you see that log 50, that's one of the reasons I put that title in there. So every time I hit the A button, there was a new heading for that block of data. So this is going to be the last 50 points. That was the one where I was doing it in a circle. I'm going to go ahead and select it from the bottom so I can get that. Make sure I get that minus someone. I don't want to get the heading. Copy the text. And I'm going to go over there to Desmos. It's nice as if you have it right here and you paste the data. It's just going to create a table for you. You can see that, gee, that, those points are falling along just like that circle. I have another graph I can turn on here as well. That is the formula for a circle, x squared plus y squared equals. Now, that, where did that 1024 come from? The 1024 is one gravity for the sensor. And as I rotate it around, we'll see the different values. So the link to this Desmos graph, I'll post that in the show notes uh, along with the make code sample. But that's how you could use data logging with the x and y accelerometer values, and you can see how rotating it actually will plot the perimeter of a circle.